All right, guys, Anthony, Super Service. Got Chris's truck here, 122,000 miles. It's freaking beautiful. Vacuum pumps running, could be a vacuum. There's a vacuum leak somewhere. Oh, well, no, it just kicked off. It might be all right. It's been sitting for a little while. 07, All right, let's just go through this as we go. We got ABS, battery voltage, probably battery chargers on it, battery voltage. Both right sensors on the bumper are showing bad, inner and outer. Number seven, contribution balance. All right, under boost code. Battery voltage, battery voltage. I didn't look at the batteries. Uh, they put a charger on it, but that says you need a set of batteries. Let's clear them out. We got under boost too, though. Might have a white pipe leak or who knows. We'll just run down the numbers here. Accelerator pedal, let's watch it. Battery still a little low. I got a charger on it right now. 0.84, a little low on EBP. Most of the tests that we're gonna do, the engine needs to be warm to do, because I wanna run a relative compression test. 71 degrees, that's pretty much ambient. I mean, it's nice outside. 48. SCP volts 0.25 that's perfect okay there you go IPRs at the bottom Fickham's at the top let's kick it off and go back on let the chatter stop here we go watch for 84 at the bottom yep oh look at the uneven crank oh we got an uneven crank it's number seven look at one and five also on that side and three I mean, I'd start with a bubble test. Let's make sure the injector is actually, because that uneven crank could be a compression loss. I'm not gonna point that towards an injector just yet, but number seven, but it also is kind of affecting, I mean, three is right after seven and seven's dead, so it's gonna be a little lower, but a real healthy injector in number three would spike up higher. So down tick towards number five, number one, and number three, number seven's obviously gone. So that points to that whole side of the inject, the whole bank. Uh, possibly potentially doesn't have to be could just be injector but the uneven crank is a bit shaky let's see if uh let's shut it back off real quick oh it evened out oh that's good oh it ain't gonna start oh the battery's dead hang on hang on oh at the very end yeah we need batteries batteries right now since it started cranking even it was probably i mean honestly who knows let's see if we can just get it start yeah, let it charge up a little bit, let it run. First thing I started is bubble test. Uh, the under boost code is something, I mean, we got, actually we got a broke down truck in front of it right now, so we can't, uh, it's kind of blocked in. Uh, we can move it here in a second. Under boost code could be a stuck turbo. It's 120,000 mile 07. That uh, means it's sat quite a bit. I mean, turbo could be stuck, you know, could need a turbo with under boost code. Obviously we'd want to get some temperature in the truck to be able to boost up the turbo, see what it's doing cycle of vg i mean we could do it now but it's too cold i don't like revving it up i want to let it sit i mean we can turn the idle up just a hair we'll just do just a little bit like right one more yeah there you go 950 that's a good warm-up rpm smoothed out a little bit let's let it run for a minute oh yeah we might have some kind of issue vgt is closed and it's building zero manifold pressure so uh, who knows i mean if it is stuck turbo it's stuck like a mother i mean i would like to know if it did it from just out of nowhere because the turbo is not just going to start it's not just going to stick all the way out of nowhere unless it's never had boost or hasn't had boost for a long time you know i've had ipr or uh, a vgt solenoids do this uh, could be wiring could be a wire to the turbo who knows uh, but the fact that it's closed and it's building nothing let's see if i bump it up a little bit See if I bump it up, we'll go up just a little bit. That MGP number right there. I mean. There's about as much as I'd want to do and we got nothing. VGT's locked. So we need to shake some wires around. Make sure we're not looking at a wiring issue. Then I would go ahead, I mean, it's a heck of a lot easier just throw a VGT solenoid in it real quick, see if that, uh, I haven't driven it yet to boost up to, I mean, if it won't boost. I don't hear any big air leaks, but I haven't gotten out underneath the hood either, so. But the main thing I wanted to get on was firing it up. Let me go out here real quick. Yeah, it's got no turbo at all. Maybe the damn, the impeller on there is locked up. That is a straight engine noise back there. When you hear that rumbling, sounds like a gas burner. That means that there's that, it honestly almost means that the turbine physically is not spinning. 
that it's it's not even spinning it's just sitting there stuck so it very well could be locked up turbo could be i mean it's starting to smoke just a little bit could be from uh, the seal you know it's pumping oil out but generally it would get a lot worse than that but it is starting to actually smoke a lot more so okay we might be looking at a turbo we'll pop the air filter off and see if it's see if it's locked up i'm not gonna let it run too much longer because we got to do that real quick if it's a front half of an impeller we yeah, it could get really really ugly really fast but set of batteries check the turbo all right guys have a good day